Welcome back to another Fallout 76 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to mod Fallout 76 if you are on the Game Pass or Microsoft Store version. Yes guys, finally we can mod it on these versions and they have added an update on Microsoft 11 and I believe it is on 10 as well. But you will just have to figure that out as you go into your files. But anyway, let's get started. So we're going to go on nexusmods.com under Fallout 76, and you're going to look for Quick Configuration version 1.95. So we're going to go to Download, and when you download that, you should get a pop-up that will ask you to download this extra stuff. So you might want to check and see if your computer already has this stuff downloaded. Mine actually did, so I did not re-download these. But if yours does not have it, you will need that stuff. To make this work so this is actually a mod launcher kind of like vortex and another uh, other launchers but this one is going to work just specifically for the INI files for Fallout 76 so we're going to actually click on that INI file and when you open it up it's actually going to ask you to go to administrator so you're going to actually open this as an administrator because it will not work unless you do that first so run as administrator and then we're going to open this up and now we're going to go to settings and this might automatically pop up whenever you open the uh, app for the first time I think it did for mine but you're going to go into settings and game profiles and you're going to go to Xbox Game Pass and Microsoft Store and then you're going to put in your game location which I will leave below but this should be it for everybody it is the new modifiable windows apps and is a new thing that they just added and um, but anyway you'll see this Fallout 76 cannot be run directly and don't be alarmed by that just make sure you check launch via steam bethesda.net and it should work and of course make sure that that auto detects your game location and then if it doesn't auto detect your game location then just keep that thing checked where uh, and still try it and see if it still works it may still work um, if you have any questions just let me know so we're going to go back to Nexus mods and we're going to search for improved health bars and we're going to download this mod to see if it works because it's a, just a good mod to see if the mods are actually working so just download that and uh, once it's downloaded, you're just going to go to your zip file folder and you can just drag it in from there if you want. If you have a 7-zip or um, anything like that, if you don't, you just want to, of course, unzip it and put it into the file. I'm going to drag it straight in from the zip file here and put it into my data folder, which will be in my modifiable Windows apps folder again. Then you're just going to go back to the main menu and mods and then you're going to go to add mod over here and you're just going to go back to your data folder and that is of course your Windows modifiable apps and click on the mod that you drug over and that will show up there and when you do that you're going to have to hit deploy. So make sure you hit deploy on every single one of these mods that you add in otherwise they will not work. And you can turn these on and turn these off. You don't have to hit deploy for that, but just click the check and check markers. Uh, but that's pretty much all there is to it. Now there's one more very important thing. So using this launcher, it should have put a custom INI folder into your Fallout 76 My Games folder. So you're going to go to Documents, My Games, Fallout 76, and... Uh, you're going to look for this Project 76 custom folder, and it should have put that there on its own. If it didn't, then it did not work. And uh, you might have to add a custom folder there, and that's a whole other thing in itself. So I might have to make another tutorial on that. But this should work how it is because it automatically puts it in there for you. As you can see here, it is putting the mods, and this is exactly how you would put it in in that custom folder so you can see all my different mods there uh, just listed comma after comma after the equal sign there and that's all you would have to do as far as the custom file goes but you don't have to do that if it's already added that automatically like I said and it should have so that's all there is to it guys that's how you add it to Microsoft Store version of Fallout 76 
Now let's try out Fallout 76 and see if the mod actually worked. So you're just going to go back to the beginning, exit out, and go to apply. To apply all your mods and go to launch. Now you see, when you open the game, we have a new health bar. It actually tells us how much health that we have. And it looks a little bit different. And that's just indicating that our mods are working. And if you want to try all your other mods out, if you've added other ones, this is the time to do it. But that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. I hope this helps somebody out. And I appreciate you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for all the support on my recent videos here. And uh, I will see you guys on the next tutorial. You guys let me know in the comments maybe what you guys want to see next. I'll see you guys next time.